What's up, YouTube? Back with another champion discussion video. Today, I have another very interesting. No, it's a very stupid intro. We're not doing that. Welcome back, YouTube, to my champion discussion series. This is a series where we go on the League of Legends content Reddit, look at some champion concepts, and give our opinions on them, and also to give a shout out to the creator. That way, we can have a, a good, you know, productive, you know, positive uh, impact in the community here. Like always, please subscribe, like the video, comment, let me know what you guys think of this champion, and also let me know if you guys want me to review one of your guys' champions on here as well. Now, this one today, uh, we have from Deku m 4 ru 71 This is a champion known as Splice, the Pilt Over Tactician. Sounds kind of cool, I'm interested. Uh, anything that has Tactician in the name is pretty dope. So, looks like we have you know, a bunch of abilities here, we have a little bit of lore, and some just visual idea of what it would look like. Uh, hi, this is a champion disc, uh, this champion concept I've always wanted to see realized in League. My first post here, so, re so if you're reading this, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. AP utility jungler, melee range, auto attacker. So you're melee and range? That's a little confusing. A lore, a former Zon Knight, Zonny, because it's Zon, you say Zon Knight? Seems it's, it, it always seems weird to me to say. Former Zon burglar and a genius technician, spending his youth skulking the depths of Zon's dark alleys and decrypted hideouts. During this time, he spent many hours working the streets of Lower Piltover as a pickpocketing thief and learned everything he could about tech that would help him get the drop on anyone foolish enough to trail him. In his young adult years, he worked as a hired burglar and henchman to many different chem barons and other unsavory individuals, mainly Victor Singe Mundo, perhaps. Gathered in for, uh, gathered knowledge, always keeping eyes and ears open. Eventually, his escape aides caught him, uh, caught up with him, with, uh, with the infamous sheriff Caitlin. After a raid on his hideout, he was tried and sentenced to prison. Another statistic in the books, as far as Piltover was concerned, while serving his sentence, garnered a reputation for accomplishing. Seamlessly impossible feats of engineering from what uh, meager salvage he could get from other prisoners, as well as smuggled supplies, creating traps and gadgets whose functions rivaled those uh, who'd only find in the richest, most jealousy guarded vaults of the noblest Piltover Academies. This reputation landed him in the depths of authorities once more, accepting to. Uh, Accepting to be sentenced to death for treason against Piltover, his death, another dot in the margin. Okay, uh, he found himself shaking the hands of a new war, a new warden deputy named Vi, tasked with putting his. Uh, okay, the story's a little confusing. He's basically just a thief. He's a really, really smart thief. Visual design similar to Swain's rework, more subtle, deliberate movements rather than agile bounces. Uh, he's a, t he's a. Tactician with a ton of gadgets on his belt and harnesses um, harness jangling all over his person. His physical appearance is long and lean, maybe as old as 2029, but with trim, slicked back hair, and beer shadow to accompany a shoddy, scruffy appearance. Offset with gleaming pilt over attire. Wears a coat made of several layers of clothing meant to obscure his tools beneath and move stealthily at all times. Alright, so we have. Passives. We have two passives. First passive is Icon Clastic Engineering. When starting the game, Skirmisher's Blade and Skirmisher's Saber are replaced by Hextech Fabricator item with three active charges, similar to refillable pots. Recharges refill when uh, recalling to base. When a cooldown of 45 seconds between each charge use, this item has the same stats and attributes as the Skirmisher's Blade or Saber. Can be upgraded with four jungle enchantments. Warrior. Okay. Uh, for the same total cost, the only difference is consuming a active charge in the item uh, augments splices cinder cinder snap grenade on next cast. The only item uh, the item holds additional charges based on level. Assuming is that a, is that an ability? That's his Q. Cinder snap. So his first passive is just a different form of jungle item. Then is that that's kind of what we're going for. Second, scrap savant. Scrap Savant. 
Whenever Splice defeats a large monster in Epic Monster, he gains two stacks of scrap metal, killing large monsters, epic monsters, and enemy jungle rewards four stacks while defeating Baron Dragon or Herald. Scrap metal can be spent to purchase unique consumable items accessible only from Splice's mobile base. After purchasing each unique consumable item once, Splice converts all remaining scrap metal stacks into gold, two stacks per 10 gold. Splice will cease to gain stacks. I have ideas for consumables, but I'm too lazy to write them at the moment. Never a good thing to say. You should never say that you're too lazy to do something with these concepts. Found that out when I started making concepts. You you want to you always make sure that you're giving your 100% on these because when you're, you're putting these up there for people's opinions and if you're just saying, yeah, this is just kind of like 50% of what I'm doing, a lot of, a lot of people are not going to take it serious. So just make sure you don't put that. Think situationally powerful one-use items to support different play styles. This grants him gold or unique consumable items. So, and since you're too lazy, quote unquote, to put them in there, it's hard to base on how good this ability would be. You know, you wanna make sure that you're putting everything in there so we can kind of review the champion kind of as a whole. And when did you post this? Uh, 17 days ago, okay. So we have Cinder Snap Grenade. Uh, nine second cooldown, 50, 50 mana cost, 800 range. Just, uh, deploy the grenade at target location, dealing 25 to 85, plus four to 8%, plus 2% per 100 AP each 0 0.5 seconds to enemies within 1.5 the end of the second direct uh duration the grenade explodes dealing damage briefly stunning this is meant to be a splice's primary jungle camp clearing tool and primary ganking ability so we have heimerdinger e as your q on that odd uh blah, blah. augmenting the ability by consuming the charge of his hextech fabricator causes the next grenade deploy as a stealth trap for 2.5 minutes instead of a immediate explosion the grenade gains a slow over 1.5 seconds and ends in a 0.75 second stun w is mobile base uh deploy cooldown 60 seconds if the shelter is destroyed by enemies 20 seconds if reclaimed by splice costs 100 mana splice deploys a small concealed base of operations on the ground the base is camouflaged from enemy sight unless an enemy champion is, is within range to see it the base has five hp and can be auto attacked by enemy champions in the range while the base is active splice can act uh, access the shopkeeper from there in a short boost uh, to movement speed and mana regeneration the base uh, persists indefinitely until splice recasts the ability with uh when within range of the base Dismantling the base and putting the ability on reduced cooldown. If the, if the base is destroyed by enemies, this ability goes on a much longer cooldown. I like the idea. I think you should have more than just being able to buy from the shopkeeper because you're essentially just making a mana cost ability of Orin's passive, which I'll kind of break these abilities down once I get through everything. E, Electro Mesh Trap Wire, fires an electric bullet in a straight line, which damages the first target struck with AP damage, slowing the target for 60 seconds. Bull strikes no target if it fires trip wire outwards into adjacent walls, then primed for, one point, uh, for 0.75 seconds before becoming a trip wire lasting 2.5 minutes and revealing anyone damage for 4.5 seconds. That's kind of cool. It has a uh, kind of like a Rengar effect, but then if you don't hit anybody, you can actually just use it as a very tricky defensive placement. So it kind of has like the weird geometry of a Vel'Koz Q. So I like that. That's actually really cool. R is Wraith Shroud, Cons Wraith Shroud Canister. 90 second cooldown, 80 mana. Splice, res uh, Splice releases a thick cloud, thick thick cloud of inky black smoke gaining 20 to 30 percent movement speed for the duration during this time he leaves a he leaves behind a trail of wraith shroud gas in a slowly expanding area this gas grants cover to his allies similar to how brush works while enemies inside the cloud are nearsighted obstructed from enemy vision to enemies outside the cloud inky gas slowly expands as it persists on the ground over the duration disperses after the ability wears off. Additionally, when Splice deploys a Cinder Snap Grenade anywhere within the ra uh, within the area covered by Wraith Shroud Gas, the gas instantly ignites in a fury... and a fiery... Uh, so it just basically explodes, deals a bunch of damage, and slowing targets for 40%. Okay, we'll start kind of at the top. So, uniqueness. So there's... there's I, I see the idea. I see what you were going for. The idea is really cool. Having this tactician who can, you know, could do a bunch of utility in the game. Um, however, you didn't display a lot of your creativity with this. Um, mainly just going by this first passive here. 
This passive has th has these charges, but it seemed that the charges only have one of one ability that it synergizes with, with this Q. You didn't put anything else on there. It really only has synergy with the one ability. And then the second passive is really interesting because you can create a bunch of items, but you didn't name any of them. So I actually created a champion. I will leave it uh, leave a link for it in the description. His name is Bilovar. Uh, he was one of the first champions that I created and he's a utility jungler that has the ability to create items. Um, take a look at that, uh, see how, how I created these items and like what they do, and then maybe you'll get some you know, um, inspiration to you know, come back and make these items because I think you have a really cool idea here and depending on what these items do can make this champion really, really awesome. Um, but as it sits right now, uniqueness, um, you know, this is basically Heimerdinger, E. Uh, your W is Orin passive uh the e is pretty interesting and the r are pretty interesting the majority of the kit is just kind of it seems like the back half of your kit is carrying the front um so i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a four here four out of ten i think if you add more to your passive here i think the path i think this ability i think this champion can be really really cool but we need more we need more information we need to know what it is that these items are actually going to do so we need to add more to the passive. And I would say uh, one thing that I kind of just caught, just kind of looking at this, um, I think you, I think the Q could be changed. And I think you could, you should be able to change the Q to have different effects, sort of like a Twisted Fate pick a card, where you're able to change the effect of this ability. And then it, that will give you some more utility. If you think of like how Heimer's ultimate works, where Heimer's ultimate just augments, you know, just, um, just, uh, alters one of his abilities to make it a completely, you know, more powerful, overpowered ability. You could do that with the Q. So think of some ideas. Like I said, check out my champion by Levar uh, that I'll post in the in the uh, in the description. Look at look at his items that I put on there and kind of maybe, hopefully that gives you some inspiration so you can come up with some cool things. I would like to see it. Backstory. The backstory is decent. Um, the idea of him being this thief. I would like to see more history as to why he is this way it just seems like he he's a thief he gets caught by caitlin and then he gets in trouble again and then he gets and then he meets with vi and then it's like it's over so i think you can add some more to it i think you don't even really need to put vi and caitlin in there truthfully you can just give us more backstory on him um since this is your first champion you know i it, it's it's pretty it's pretty good to, you know, it's, it's a good thing, good practice to always add, you know, uh, you know, detail in your lore of like where the champion came from, why are they doing it this way, instead of just throwing in um, champions that are already in the game so people go, oh, look, there's, you know, look, they are, they, they link in their lore, you know, um, so just changing that up a little bit, I think will help a lot. I'm going to give it a five. Uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool idea just needs more story detail so just add some more stuff to splice i think it can be pretty cool uh moving on to pro play viability i think this has some very unique utility that could be very helpful i think the ultimate's very cool uh, it's like a giant graves w uh the e is pretty nice uh the mobile base it looks like he's the only person who can use it so he doesn't really get any utility out of that um so pro play viability i'm gonna get it i'm gonna give it a uh a four out of ten i don't think base doesn't give so the base doesn't give synergy to allies which i think is a problem also um i don't know which role this is supposed to be i'm assuming a support because he doesn't have a lot of damage I would assume a support because he, he has this is utility, this is utility, this is kind of utility, and then this is damage. So he doesn't have a lot of other things to put into you know being a top laner. Uh, now I know you said he's a jungler. You have one ability that can clear. You're basically just counting on using one ability in the jungle. And now you you also added a kind of a counter jungling mechanic, similar to what Kendred does with his pat or what Kendred what she does with her passive Kendred being able to counter jungle enemy jungle camps and you're gaining scrap metal for that i think the boost i think the passive for scrap metal should go up 
like the more scrap metal you get you actually should be able to use the scrap metal I mean you said you can use it to build items but you should be getting more scrap metal for counter jungling I feel like um, that that would give this champion a really big boost in the jungle but this the champion needs more skirmish ability if it's going to have a quote-unquote counter jungling mechanic in it because you're gonna try to counter jungle Diana you're gonna try to counter jungle Jin Zhao, Lee Sin, Rengar, Kha'Zix, you need to have more damage outside of one ability to be able to counter jungle this. I would fit Splice sort of in the support role. That's the only role that, this, that he would actually make sense in. But then again, he doesn't have enough damage or enough survivability in lane to really put himself in a position to be a, you know, a first pick champion or somebody who's going to, you know, you, you pick this champion because you're going to win lane. Doesn't really have that effect. So, 4 out of 10, uh, just getting some more defined role, you know, attributes in here. Now, fun-wise, I see where you're going with the idea. I see where you're going with it. And I think with some slight adjustments, this champion could be really, really fun. So, I'm, I am going to give it an 8 out of 10. Possibly, if this thing actually wants to... There we go. The idea is pretty awesome. I think, just like I said, some, some minor things need adjusted. I would really like to see, uh, would really like to see some more details on the passive items, just because I, I, I feel like those passive items could really make or break this champion. Like, you can have a grenade that, when you throw it down, makes you invisible, or it, you know, covers you in, like, a sticky substance, wherever, when you run by an enemy champion, they get stuck to you or it's like a magnet where you throw it and then all enemy champions get pushed in you know like you there's a lot of different things you can do with those passive items and i just i want you to expand on that for everybody that way we can you know enjoy this a little bit more so that does it for the grading system portion of it so overall um i give this champion a 21 out of 21 out of 40. so um definitely could use some work uh, for your first champion you know it's not a bad idea um, expanding on the lore, big thing, adjusting around some of the abilities, and I think you have a pretty cool champion. Um, I would like to see some more work for you, so please, you know, um, continue to make awesome champion concepts uh, that, you know, you can share with everybody. And yeah, you know, I, like I said, I'll post that video down below. Um, I will post your link down here, that way everyone can check out this champion concept and give it uh, their own review if they would like. I'll give it an upvote. And thank you, Deku, for the idea. Very, very cool concept. And that will do it for the video today, guys. Like I said, you know, like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Post down below if you guys would like to see a certain champion concept reviewed on this channel. And maybe I'll throw in the next video. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.